to be gay. Sing if you're happy that way. Hi, this is Lulu Way with Daily Extra, and I'm here with Tom Robinson. Hello. Glad to be gay came out about what, four decades ago. Um, a lot of things have changed, but what have you seen that's changed, and what do you think is next for a gay rights movement? I never imagined, to be honest, I never imagined that we would come as far as we have, that there would be same sex marriage as well as partnerships that we would have openly gay politicians the way we've come back and gone just completely the other way um, into acceptance in so many of our western societies is just marvelous so you identify as a gay musician and you're in a male female relationship uh, so how do you go around well, that well you know life is full of surprises life isn't little neat compartments and boxes and in the early days of gay liberation the pioneers the diesel dykes the drag queens the faggots who were out there fighting the police on the streets of new york formed the gay liberation front not because gay men were just one box and lesbians were another box and then everybody else was the straight world they formed the gay liberation front because gay meant everything non-heterosexual it was a wide diaspora it was every flavor of sexuality it was every shade of gender was encompassed in that wonderful three-letter word that we invented and created for ourselves. And in that sense, I've always identified as gay. I never felt the appeal of the teen movies I saw, the, the heterosexual romances we were force-fed as kids. You know, I'm part of that other world. And the whole point of gay liberation is the freedom for everyone to love whoever they want. And not put people in boxes and say love is a many splendid thing and when I was in my mid 30s I went to a gay switchboard benefit and I saw the man of my dreams across a crowded room and when I got close it turned out to be a woman and you know I think life's too short to go oh no I belong to this camp so I can't do that you've got to follow your heart that's the whole point we were saying in the earliest days of gay liberation was that it was about people being allowed to love whoever they feel attracted to and uh, yeah it happened to me it wasn't convenient in terms of my career as uh, an out gay musician but in terms of being with the right person if you meet the right person then you can't worry about whether they're the right gender or not just go with it follow your heart thanks Tom for speaking with us okay thank you for having me hey! Yeah.